Okay, we've been working um, with the beta function, the beta integral function actually, and how it relates to the gamma integral function. Along the way, we derived the reduction formula for it, and we've been using these relations to solve different types of uh, integration problems. And in this video, we want to consider an integral that's a little bit more complicated than what we've had in the uh, other videos. Here we have the integral of y to the fourth times the square root of a squared minus y squared going from y goes from 0 to a. And comparing that to our definition of a beta function, uh, it seems like it's a far cry from our beta function. Can we find a substitution or maybe a series of substitutions that will transform this into a beta function? And before we ask that question, let's get what's inside this uh, square root sign as one minus some variable and then see how to proceed from there. So we'll factor the a squared out. So this will equal and on the square root sign we'll have a squared times 1 minus y squared over a squared dy. And we can take this to the outside of the square root sign, that's a. In fact, a is a constant, so we can take it to the outside of the integral. So we have this will equal a times y to the fourth the square root of 1 minus y squared divided by a squared dy. And this has to be 1 minus a variable to the first power. So our inclination is to put a substitution in here for this. And if we do that, say let u be equal to 1 over a squared times y squared. If we do that, what about these limits here? How will that affect the limits? Well, let's see. y goes from 0 to a and when y is 0, u will be 0. When y is equal to a, we'll have a squared divided by a squared. So the limits come out all right from 0 to 1. Um, so we want to express this now, this in terms of u, this in terms of u, and dy has to be expressed in terms of du. So here we have du is equal to 1 over a squared 2 times y dy. Uh, let's see then. dy, that will be equal to a, bring everything over to this side of the equation. We'll have a squared divided by 2y du. We only want to get rid of this y. So we go back to our substitution. Uh, y would be equal to a times the square root of u. So we can write down dy is equal to a squared divided by 2 times y, which is this. So I have a, and this bring the u upstairs, or dy will equal 1 half times a times u to the minus 1 half du. So Let's put these substitutions into this integral here. This will give us 
A, and we're going to have the integral y to the fourth, that would be this to the fourth. So we'll have a to the fourth times u squared, u to the one half of the fourth power. And then here we're going to have one minus u to the one half. And then for dy, we have this expression. So we're going to have u to the minus one half times one half a du. And let's see, this will equal a to the fourth times a, that's a to the fifth, a to the sixth. So outside here we have one half a to the sixth times this integral, and u will go from 0 to 1 on its limits. We established that. So this is 0 to 1. u squared times u to the minus 1 half. That's u to the 3 halves times 1 minus u to the 1 half du. And this, finally, is a beta function that satisfies all the requirements. That would be a 5 halves three halves. So we have our original integral here. Of y to the four square root a squared minus y squared dy equals one half a to the six times this theta function, and from here. We're actually finished, or just about finished. It's just a matter of doing some arithmetic using this relation here. So let's just make a little bit of room. Okay, let's rewrite this up here. Really, the main problem was getting this integral here into a beta function. That was our big problem. So, that was our original integral here, and we got that expressed now in terms of a beta function. And now the rest of it is real simple. Using this relationship here, this will be equal to a to the 6 times 1 half. This would be the gamma function of 5 halves times the gamma function of 3 halves divided by the gamma function of this sum, that will be 4. And in the last video, we determined this here is equal to 3 times the square root of pi divided by 4. And the gamma function of 3 halves, that's just the square root of pi divided by 2. So let's see, this will equal a to the sixth. This is 3 times the square root of pi over 4 times this. That's the square root of pi over 2. And this 
is just 3 factorial. So we have 3 times 2 times 1. Then we get our, min our 1 half here. So let's see. This is a to the 6th. This and this cancel. That's pi divided by 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16 times 2 is 32. So there it is. This integral here equals a to the 6 times pi divided by 32. And again, the whole thing hinged upon being able to transform this into a beta function and then use this relationship here to get a numerical answer. Okay, um, come back. We'll do one more integral problem of this form here that might be even a little bit more complicated than what we've considered in this video.